So, uh, what now? Oh, uh, I, I hadn't thought that far through. I, I think we just shoot with these things and then, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. Sure, that's what your plan is for. Shh, remember, you, you guys are supposed to be my friends, remember? Okay, let's go. Whatever you say, man. He's paying you for this? Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm out here with my friends, but I basically want to get their reaction of editing different sorts of footage and just doing different computer intensive tasks on the new MacBook Pro. You already know, I've been I've been kind of a uh, little fangirling over the new MacBook Pros and the performance, but I wanted to get their opinion as well uh, from different pros. So essentially, we want to see if these computers are actually as groundbreaking as we initially thought. So we're going to put them through their paces and uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So what I want to know is, this new MacBook Pro, how does it handle like the most intensive video that we can throw at it? So we're going to use Matt's Red with the uh, HDRX footage. If you don't know what HDRX footage is, it's like it takes it's like recording two clips at the same time and then it merges them together. It is super heavy on my computer. The DJI FPV, which probably won't be that intensive, um, and then the FX3 which will be the same as the a7s3 and we're going to use it in like 4k 120 in the most compressed that it can do now with my m1 it's it kind of works but it's a bit stuttery and it takes a little bit to export so we want to see how it handles same thing with this We're going to launch this as far in the air as I can and hopefully try and catch it. All right. It's going to hit you in the head this evening. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm going to move out. <laughs> oh my gosh, this keyboard. You it's like so keyboard? much nicer. <laughs> I'm so used to my, like, the one that everyone has. Oh my god, the butterfly, butterfly switches? Yeah. Those are the worst. So for our first test, we went to download Cinema 4D along with Maxon and see how the computer fared with that. This isn't supposed to have real-time playback, like, that's not what it's meant for. But that's pretty good, I mean, what's, how, what's your favorite performance? There's no way my laptop could do this, that's for sure. Like, I wouldn't expect to be rendering a project like this on a MacBook. Okay. Just in general. Yeah, yeah. You'd want to be doing it on, like, a big computer. So you're not going to get like real time uh, rendering anyways. Like, yeah. This is like pretty typical to what you would see. Like I think because Redshift is GPU, um, it's a GPU renderer, not a CPU renderer. Mm -hmm. What you could do, when a lot of people who do 3D, what they'll do is they'll, they'll create their project on their laptop and then they'll send their render to like a cloud rendering service. So they'll have like some server render out their animations that, you know, they don't have to think about it. Um, then they can just keep, you know, doing their thing. Because the real-time editing workflow here, uh, let me stop that, was totally fine. Like I could move my camera around, I could move objects. Um, it didn't seem like, it didn't seem to hesitate at all. The fact that I can even like, you know, move this around in real time and it's not really too much of an issue. Yeah, so like, if you were a 3D animator, you could totally get by like doing most of your work on your laptop. Mm -hmm. Something like this on like an actual built out PC computer that you have, like yeah. how, how would? Um, I would imagine the exporting like the to be quick, yeah, right, like three times quicker. Got it. Like yeah, significantly quicker. You have like a dedicated graphics card and everything yeah. for that. Yeah, exactly. Like and like I would say like so I have a 2070, but which is kind of like nowadays is pretty mid tier. Like there's a lot better cards you could get. Um, depending on your render engine, it's all about the VRAM and how much you can store. But uh, but I mean honestly, I'm still very impressed with like how well this is. It's a, it's a beautiful laptop. I would, if, I, if I could afford one, I would 100% buy one right now. I'm not used to just hitting space to preview stuff. I mean, the fact <laughs> that we could do that and not have to have a dongle, and there's HDMI and USB-C, yeah. three ports, MagSafe is back. MagSafe is back. Yeah. Literally like butter. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, and it follows. That's definitely not something I'm used to. Like, on the M1, like it, it would play occasionally though. It, it would, yeah, it would, it would play, stutter, it, it yeah. Would, it would catch up. I do love the design, like I really, I like this chunky. I know there's a fascination with making things smaller. And yeah, smaller, but like, I actually like it too, yeah. Yeah, it's, it feels like a, 
It feels like the cost is justified, if that makes sense, from the design and everything like that. Yeah, like, I mean, over time, the amount of time you save, like, even just scrubbing 4K 120, oh, yeah. you can make that money back. Absolutely. With, like, client absolutely. projects. After checking out the Sony cameras, we decided to give the Red Cinema cameras a go. It's literally just like editing a photo in Lightroom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you could, you could totally edit any like Red project on here, no problem. I didn't want to buy one. And now I do want to buy one. <laughs> and that pretty much ended our excursion. One thing was pretty clear to me by the end of the day. Apple really put the Pro in the MacBook Pro this year. It's not really for the average person and I would recommend actual professionals consider it. And for everybody else, I think the MacBook Air is plenty. If you're confused about buying a MacBook or a MacBook Pro or what specs you should get for any of those, then I'll have a really helpful video linked up here. Feel free to check that out. And last but not least, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay blessed, peace. Quick prayer for Matt here. <laughs> He's flying uh, I mean, after a while. I did build Maddie's drone. Oh, I'm sure once you fly this, you'll be like, oh, this is easy. Hopefully. Chris, any last words? <laughs> Hopefully not last words. <laughs> I said he can fly. All he's got to do is paper refresh if he crashes. All right.